Hello, how's it going? So I just got this letter. It's from uh, Sparky, who uh, has a YouTube channel and has made some really quite cool things, including these PCBs that look like very believable Decatron counters. Uh, go and check check him out. But uh, it's like I'm not sure what to. I have a feeling I know what it is, but I'm going to open it up first before I make any judgment because I think it might be. Oh, oh, just going to open this up. Oh. Oh crud, oh no, it's been taped in. Oh no, oh no. So yes, Sparky Projects has sent this over and I'm extremely excited because, yeah, this is a bit of context. If you don't uh, remember, I did a video in January on the May 7, 1976 Everyday Electronics magazine and oh my gosh, it is life-sized. Look at that. Oh, the wire-bending gauge of doom. That is amazing. So this is basically a wire bending gauge. In fact, I think it tells you how to use it in here. So we'll have a look. But this is the page on it. And I've just realized something really cool is, <laughs> have a look at this. If you shine it, if you look, oh, I'll get the light right. It says, oh, get it right. It says everyday electronics presented free with everyday electronics. That's cool. That came with this magazine. Just, just how cool is that? That was probably sat there on the magazine. I'm not sure where, or it might have been in a bag or something, but yes. Oh yeah, so now it is time to give it a good old fashioned go. Like it's, I'm not sure how much interest, more interesting I can make this video. And in fact, I have finished the circuit for the drum machine sequencer from the previous video. It's involving a number of flip flops. I did it in a builder's live stream on Patreon, but I'm gonna build it on some strip board layout for the next video. Um, it's still nearly, it's nearly done for the actual sequencer part. And now I'm gonna be building it into a case, which is uh, this case right here, which is gonna be wall mount. So it'll be a wall mount drum machine, the rhythm, uh, the rhythm generator, I think it's called. Uh, so yeah, uh, but I figured maybe I'll use this in the build of it. But right now, let's just get to come to terms with this wonderful piece. So I guess I sort of like eye up how wide I need it to be. It comes with a number. It comes with a uh, various numbers on it, but. I guess this is the amount of pins between each of them. So I've, there's only three pins at the bottom. So if I put it on there and then I push these legs down. Oh, and then this should be just the right size for three leg spaces. It's closer to four. Yeah, no, that's, I think that could be three. I just went for, yeah, yeah. That's, that's quite good. That is quite nice. That's that's pretty good, but that's not its only function. I actually, wait a sec, let's just try it really quick on a longer one. So let's go for uh, 14, and that's gonna be 14 pins spacing. So 14 pins spaced, relatively. Uh, let's pop it in, and then I won't count until I put it in. So I'll put it in, uh, let's have a count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14! <laughs> How good is that? One more. These strip board layouts are 0 0.1, so I need to watch the numbers on this side. So I'll go for 10. Let's do that really quick. Ah, it's a little fiddly. I mean, I, I could kind of see it being useful. Ish, maybe. All right, so this is 10, so I'll just pop it in. And then count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Boom, how good is that? But that's not its only use. If you look at number C and D on here, you can actually use it as a, um, you can use it for uprights as well. So that's how you do that is you pop it in and then you look at these, uh, these ones on the top. So let's make it five wide. So this is an upright. I'm not sure why I would use an upright so wide, but whatever, let's give it a go. So now we've got it on five. Oh, this is weird to get out. That's a bit of an awkward thing. So now I've got this, it's bent in. We'll pop it in and then we'll count. Oh, that's closer to, I think I've messed up there. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, that's pretty good. And they've got, that's quite neat. I would never have soldered one like that, but that looks pretty cool and I might do that. So I think, for the next um, project that I'm gonna make, which is the sequencer, the flip-flop sequencer for the rhythm generator, 
I think I'm gonna make this. I think I'm gonna use this. Uh, it'll be quite interesting. And this flip-flop generator thing opens up like quite a different, quite a number of different uh, possibilities using uh, literally flip-flops. And, and then it's gonna be a relay sequencer from these flip-flops later on. But we're gonna go down that rabbit hole in a little bit. But Sparky, thank you very much. For everybody who's interested in Sparky's videos, go and check them out. The links are below. And yeah, there's a really cool uh, Decatron uh, counter PC that literally looks like a Decatron if it was by behind a little bit of uh, filter or something. So go and check it out over there. Anyway, that is a very short video on the, uh, the Bend Guide. Have, have a lovely time.